Jesus arrived at one end of a lake with his friends, the disciples. A man that was occupied by an evil spirit came running towards them. He was wild, ran around naked, and was living in a graveyard. Oftentimes people in the area had tried to put him in chains, but he would always break out with his bare hands and escape. Jesus told the demons inside this man to leave, for he did not just have one demon, but many. The demons begged Jesus to not send them to hell. Close by, there was a herd of pigs, so they asked Jesus to send them to the pigs. Jesus heard them and cast them out of the man. The demons left the man and went into the pigs. The whole herd went insane and then jumped off of the cliff. All of the pigs died. The man, however, was free and sane and began talking with Jesus. When the people living in the village heard what had just happened, they asked Jesus to leave. To the freed man, Jesus said, Stay here and tell everyone what has happened. Tell them that God has set you free. One day, a Jewish leader named Jairus came to Jesus and said, My daughter is sick and will die soon. Please help her. So Jesus went with him to his house. Lots of people went with them. While walking there, Jesus suddenly stopped and asked, Who has touched me? His friends, the disciples, were confused. Jesus, it's so crowded. It's normal that some of the people are touching you. But Jesus had felt power going out from him, so he asked again, Who has touched me? A woman came to him and said, I have been sick with bleeding for many years. I was sure that I could be healed by touching you, Jesus. Jesus was impressed. By your faith in me, you were healed. From that moment on, her bleeding stopped. While he was still talking to her, some friends of Jairus came and told him, Don't bother Jesus anymore. Your daughter is dead. Jesus heard that and encouraged Jairus, Do not give up. Trust in me. When they arrived at the house of Jairus, there were many people grieving for the girl. Jesus sent them all out so that he could be alone with Jairus, his wife, and his daughter. She is not dead, he explained. She is only sleeping. Then he took her hand and told her to get up. At that very moment, she opened her eyes and was alive again. Jairus and his wife were filled with joy because their daughter was alive.